Here's a displacement time graph for a wave. I'll mark out the amplitude A. Amplitude is defined as the maximum displacement of a wave particle from the equilibrium position. The intensity of a wave is proportional to the amplitude squared. But what exactly does intensity mean? The intensity of a wave is defined as the amount of energy that passes through a given area in a certain amount of time. Or I can write it as power over area. To demonstrate this, you can take a light source and point it at a wall. The light energy is radiated over a certain area. But if I pull the light source away from this wall, the energy is now spread over a larger area. So even though I'm using the same light source that's emitting the same light waves as before, the intensity decreases. I came across a really cool question from Isaac Physics about amplitude and intensity of a wave, so I'll leave a link in the description if you've not come across this educational website before. It's free, and it has a bunch of interactive A-level physics questions with these tabs giving you hints along the way. So it says, we have two coherent waves of intensities, I and 2I. For these two waves, intensity is proportional to amplitude squared. They meet and face at a point. You want to find the intensity of the resultant wave at that point. Give your answer in terms of I. When two waves superpose or overlap, their amplitudes add up, not their intensities. So the resultant amplitude must be the amplitude of the first wave plus the amplitude of the second wave. I also know that intensity is proportional to amplitude squared. I can rewrite this and say that amplitude is proportional to the square root of intensity. Question tells me that the intensity of the first wave is just i. This implies the amplitude is the square root of i. Intensity of the second wave is 2i, so the amplitude must be square root of 2i. I'll take the common factor out, and this is the resultant wave's amplitude. I want to turn this back into intensity because that's what the question is looking for. So using this relationship again, I now square this. Let's check our answer. Thanks for watching my video, and if you think you learned something from it, be sure to subscribe.